is another newbie, Will, and Mario, first class production. And I sincerely mean that. Show some love for newbie, Will, and Mario. Keep sending a positive message. I hope everybody got that message. It's funny because as soon as I made the announcement yesterday that we sold out, you know, people started hitting me up for tickets like I didn't think. I had to stop them right there. I said, that's right. You didn't think that we would do it. You know, I want to thank God because, you know, God gives you a talent for a lot of things. He gives you a talent for this, this, that, and the other. Um, and and I, I truly believe, you know, believe that I've been blessed with this talent to do video, but it means nothing if it's not done it in a proper way. Pass it, shoot it, drive it. He was getting me to work for ESPN, but my plan A was plan A. Plan B was never really thought of. It was okay. The gentleman said, when did I know I was going to college? In my household, school is not over until you finish college. And so, I get my first lesson that I taught my brothers and sisters. I sat all of them down my very first break and I said, listen up. In this household, school is not over until you finish college. When they don't achieve it, they're crushed by you. But when they see active people in their community, men that are just like them in the community doing what they supposed to do and handling their business, that shows them, you know what, it might be all right. But it also starts with the coaching and immediately telling them, it's not about this sport. This sport is gonna teach you about life. So spiritual foundation, education is the key. I tell, I do my little rap to the guy, you know, make sure you educate your minds, you don't have to do crime to make a dime. I don't want you to stop till you make it to the top. And it's about sacrifice. So I go on into that sort of do, oh, go, yeah. <laughs> so I said, all right, all right, that's it, that's it. And they were asked, um, who's your hero? And all the kids are like, oh, Batman's my hero, Superman's my hero. And here I am, 27 years old, I'm looking at it, and it hit me this just now while, while he was talking is that my success is going to be when I'm like my mother, because she's my hero. And she's here now, and I never even tell her that, which is crazy. It's about what your definition of success is, and once you acquire it, do you have the mentality that it's going to always be here? Are you preparing yourself for that rainy day when it's not? These kids think that they're going pro. These things that kids think they're going to do. With my mother and, you know, I get a call from my agent, hey, you ready to go? Uh, Pittsburgh want to fly you out. Just by applying, I maybe got into six or seven, but I wanted to go to a good football school, a good journeyman school for me. So a lot of schools, they, they would be, they'll put a foot in and they'd be like, ah, oh, we can't take the chance. If you want a good ball player, you go to DYS. But you squander things in college in terms of your athletic ability or what have you. Well, what does that have to do with your education? My mother had nine children. There was eight of us in the household. I had to care for mostly seven of them on my own. You know, you have that line just like here, you can be whatever you want to be, okay, as long as you work hard at it. Okay? No, that's not reality. Listen, you're gonna do your best here. There's only gonna be about two of you <laughs> that are gonna go D1. The rest of you are shooting just to get into college. It's definitely difficult to focus on a plan B. I didn't have a plan B. My plan A was to play football. I'll go home and just cry and cry and cry and just be like, what did I do? 